Quay, Kawi, Suki Wamsakuk, Otam, Pokaset, Niswa, Anakamuk. Welcome, I am Black Eagle from the village of the Pokaset. This is my land. I am here to take you on a journey of the Eastern Algonquin tribes, such places as the Watupa Reservation, a mystical journey to Anawan's Rock, surrender place of King Philip's War in the Poconocet Nation the Namaskit River, and the Herringworm, as we call Sukwiana Keyswash, Metacomet Seat, and the Magnetic Mountain, where weapons were made. You will hear from tribal leaders of the Chappaquiddick, the Pocasset, the Poconocet of the Wampanoag tribes of the Poconocet Nation, culture keepers of the Narragansett and Shinnecock tribe. Let us begin your journey to the ancient places and paths of the Eastern Algonquin peoples. Kwe, Kawi Otam, Pokaset, Suki Wamsakuk. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the land of the Wampanoag people. We are in a beautiful spot today. Uh, this is along the trails going in and out of the Wampanoag and the Nipmuc Nation in Smithfield. It's a a beautiful spot that I chose to be at today because I always felt the medicine here. Uh, and I'd just like to talk a little bit about the, uh, the Pocasset tribe and some of the history. Uh, I am the vice chairman of the Pocasset tribe. I have been uh, sitting on the Eagle Clan chair for 20, over 20 years. Uh, we have one house on there and several trailers right now. And there are two groups of Picassets. There are the traditional, and then there are the non-traditional Picassets. We choose to keep the traditional tribes, the traditional consulate chiefs, and the clan mothers in place. Hi, my name is Quick Wisher Took, better known as Dean Renadier Robinson of the Narragansett Indian Tribe. And I'm with the Eastern Medicine Singers. As an Eastern medicine singer, we preserve the culture by language. I am Wananamwa of the Chappaquiddick tribe of Massachusetts, Pocono, Massachusetts people. Uh, we are located at the beautiful uh, Betty's Neck, named after my ancestor, Asuito. Asuito means longhouse. And how appropriate that we're in front of, of one of the, the homes that was bequeathed to to Alima, the Bride of the Forest, and Zavaya Boone, and uh, the family of descendants of John Sassamon. I was recently asked, what does the Herring Run mean to you? Well, the Herring Run means to me and my people about the cycles of life, the opportunity to celebrate the Nukomo of harvest, the opportunity to preserve and to prepare for the, the long winter months that are to come. 
from that we would gather foods and learn how to store it, learn how to preserve it, make certain types of oils and medicines that would come, as well as being able to provide food and sustenance. We learned a long time ago that in order to survive, it was so important for us to learn to live in harmony with all that Mother Earth had to offer. And the Herring Run is one of those opportunities to live in harmony that would mark the change in the times of a new season. Tanishka. Uh, my name is Paul Warby Neil Park. Uh, that's Winds of Thunder in my language. And I am the Sagamore of the Council 7 Royal House Poconoka Tribe of the Poconoka Nation. Uh, I'm sitting here on the uh, Osamequin Preserve, which is on the Wampanoag Trail in Barrington, Rhode Island. And uh, Wampanoag Trail, uh, that is something that's been around for quite a while. But I mean, the name changes from town to town. Uh, as, a, as a young kid coming up, I always thought that all of 114 was Wampanoag Trail. Today, uh, I can come down here and my GPS will go from uh, expressway near 195, where you enter uh, 195 uh, West. Uh, I come up here into Barrington, it, it, it changes the county road. Uh, Wampanoag Trail, you get into Pawtucket, uh, Winsock has got different names, but, but uh, predominantly uh, at the time of the Massasoit, the Wampanoag Trail was used uh, for the uh, Poconokets. Uh, that was a way for them to get from Seekonk which they're called a riverside today, but back then it was Seekonk uh, to Providence. And uh, they crossed over the Seekonk River down there around, around the Butler Hospital, Butler Park down there. And that's basically how they, uh, they got there. They either, uh, either went by dugouts or they crossed over in a low, low point of the river where they could cross. My name is Red Medicine. I am from the Shinnecock Nation a little bit off of the Montauk tribe out of New York, Long Island. And I'm here uh, with my family, my brothers from the Eastern Medicine Singers, and we're talking about what is the Pawas. But on my tribe, the Shinnecock people, which is Long Island, we are the Pawas family, we call the Praying Indians. And we haven't had have a Pawas in a long time. And all the chiefs will come, all the Sagamores, from the different clans will come and come together and it's called a medicine circle. 